And welcome back to the Bitcoin Advisors channel. Uh, my name is Chris, bringing it to you from Westlake Village, California. It's bright, it's early, and it's the afternoon. Um, actually, we're coming in about 12.30 Pacific time, and uh, yeah, you know, still flying around in the pennant formation here. Bitcoin mostly ranging here as volatility has been declining here. And uh, we still have the upside bias here that uh, swipe of the top side of the range is more likely However, um, you know, I'd find it quite uh, favorable if we could get a nice pullback and a little downside action because I think it would be a tremendous buying opportunity going to the halving, which is coming in uh, shortly. Just taking a look at the measure move on this uh, breakout or breakdown, uh, which it looks like <coughs> the breakout takes us up to about 81,000. Uh, the breakdown would bring us down to uh yeah that pivot there at about fifty-seven thousand, and more importantly on the weekly time frame macro bullish as long as we're holding the sixty thousand dollar pivot um, which is this prior wick right here call it um, 59.2 um, as long as the weeklies are closing in an upwards fashion and uh well momentum is definitely in the critical zone here so that's that all that tells us is that you know price action is trending right now and, um, you know, more likely to get some sideways action going into the halving. Now, I do want to bring up one point here on the two-day time frame. And I'm going to make this one a bit of a quick one today, so you're in luck. Two-day time frame, any kind of a two-day closure. Uh, really, um, I'd say, gosh, anywhere here or higher today, four days. Where would you get confirmation on this one? A two-day closure back above this high right here at... 71,598, and that will confirm a couple of drives of hidden bullish divergence, which should give us a shot back to the top side of the range at a minimum, and probably continuation all the way up to the $81,000 target. Uh, just pulling up the liquidation levels really quick. And uh, <clears throat> this is on Solana, which maybe we'll take a look at Solana and Ethereum. And then wrap it up and make a quick one here out of it today because I do have a bit of an appointment to get to. So uh, what do we got going on here for Bitcoin? Uh, looks like we're pretty neutral here. We've got 295 short liquidations to 276 long liquidations. So the range is tightening up and uh, probably a good idea to judge it on a shorter term time frame basis. Momentum is flipping up for the second time and does give me the bias set uh, at least going to test the range higher here at 71 1 uh 71 145 um got declining volatility almost uh coming along that green 55 should get a decent sized bounce on the hourly time frame um, as long as momentum can cross up here above 69 838 which uh is actually 69,838. It's going to be right about. Oh, we're already above it. We're already above it. 69,838. We will cross up here on the next hourly in 27 minutes. Um, but things are tightening up here um, alongside uh, NASDAQ. Whoops. NASDAQ up 300 points today. Uh, Dixie is. Probably going to, you know, do a little retracement here. It looks like it's coming into a resistance pivot there. And so dollar down, good for risk assets. Uh, as you can see on the hourly, three, four hours of down for the dollar. And um, swinging around there. The daily will cross, well, is crossed up right now and does look fairly bullish um, at the moment. But we are coming into kind of the diagonal trend line, which is not as important as the um, horizontal. Needless to say, uh, that's just something to keep your eyes upon. Ethereum. Ethereum, um, I think the most important chart to, you know, keep your eyes upon is the ETH Bitcoin chart. And uh, if Ethereum can, uh, ETH Bitcoin can clear above this level and kind of do something like that, that would look good for some continuation. But Probably going to range a bit for a while here um, and maybe even give a stab down into this area, which, uh, you know, not going to be good for altcoins in general. So if we can 
put in a higher low here and uh, make our way back up above 0.5, um, 5.354. That'll look good for some continu continuations to the upside for the general altcoin market as well. Uh, oh, just looking at AGIX, looks like it's taking it on the chin here. And uh, next major kind of vector candle on the daily is coming in way down here. And let's see if we can line that up with any kind of a AGX and singularity. We're supposed to merge and have a little baby with uh, Ocean Protocol. And uh, it was supposed to be the AI dream baby. Apparently, uh, apparently something is not going well there. So heading down to the 382, below there, next target down is going to be about 19 cents. Uh, WIF is just holding on with dear life here, uh, trying not to lose this pivot. WIF below 322 is not going to look good. Uh, AVAX, still in the long trade, uh, still in the long trade, given in our Discord. Uh, looks like, uh, you know, chances of a bounce sooner than later are probably better, but I don't like how we lost this level here at 48 cents. So, you know, the mid range of this next, uh, you got the, the mid range coming in at the 0 0.5 and the bottom of the range right here. So, you know, technically speaking, we're back in the range and should expect a little bit more downside continuation. Now, if we can reclaim this, I'm ready to get bullish, uh, pretty quick here. So just some food for thought on AVAX, checking in on Super. Super is putting in a bit of a pennant as well. And as long as we're above the middle wick here, I'm looking for a bounce sooner than later. Declining volatility along that green 55 hopefully gets a bounce sooner than later. Otherwise, it's going to be an M formation and, uh, you know, probably heading down to about 95 cents. Um, what are the, some of the star lights out there right now? Uh, not doggy coin, but um, some of these guys right here on my list of real world assets, which we talked about this one yesterday, OM, uh, pretty much hitting this 1618 target. So, you know, may cool off a little bit here, but it, it has been ripping on dough. Um, let's look at it on the daily. <clears throat> Needs to reclaim that 21. Uh, more more specifically, about 78 cents and put in a higher low. Momentum crosses up above 80 cents. So if we can take out this high at about 84 cents, I'd be ready to start to get bullish on this one again. Um, how's the Rio doing? Rio playing at the bottom side of the range, maybe dips down a little bit more and then reclaims, you know, tags the 0 0.5 and then pops it up there. If you lose that 0 0.5, the next target down is that 618 and maybe even more. Um, Ave coming in uh, with a nice bearish candle here along the green 55. Let's see what momentum looks like. It is beginning to decline. I would expect a bounce on the first pass here. And as long as we are really above this, I guess that's why they say horizontals are more important than diagonals. Horizontals, then moving averages, uh, higher term time frame, uh, moving averages. So is that the line in the sand? I believe so. Um, three touches makes a trend. So something like this. Um, very, very, very close here. Horizontals, triangles, um, obviously the horizontals are going to be more, uh, you know, uh, important, whether it comes to gaining a level or losing a level, I would say this is the level we need to hold on to for Mr. Ave, or is that one going to be a little more accurate? Um, I, I'm going to leave it right there. As long as we can hold this this last blue vector candle right here at uh, 11370, I I'll stay bullish on this one and uh, expect those higher lows to continue. Big news on Uni Uni <laughs> Uni. Apparently, uh, SEC is going after him, and um, you know, as long as we are you know 
above this pivot right here um, at about 784, then I would expect a bounce on the first pass. I think everybody's getting short on this one. So it's gearing up for a bit of a mean reversion bounce. And where can you expect those bounces to take place? Well, more specifically at the 0.5 or the 618. So if by the end of the day, you see um, us reclaim the 618 um, and maybe put in a big like wick here, that would look good for a bounce, uh, you know, to retest the 0.5 at about 1055. But I would expect pressure to be down for some time on this one until it gets some better news out there. ENA continues to look bullish on the hourly declining. Um, you know, this is our bounce kind of target as long as we re reject the bearish control zone. Going to look good there. All right, I got to go. I uh, hope you have a blessed and highly favored rest of your day. And I will see you in the next one. Just reiterating the stance on Bitcoin. Uh, we are kind of just watching out for um, the deviation, whether it's to the bottom side or to the upside. Uh, we are goosing the odds in the favor of the bulls right now saying, hey, you know, uh, Thursday's a down day uh, typically. Um, Friday, if it is going to pick it up. And more specifically, we'll confirm uh, one, two, three drives, three drives of hidden bullish divergence coming back from this pivot right here. I would call it two drives, two drives. Uh, and that, that'll be confirmed with any kind of a closure really uh, above 69,448 today. So it looks like it is going to be confirmed um, and we will get the higher low. And uh, yeah, we should see a swing, swing to the upside somewhere in that zone and then judge it from there. All right, guys, hope you have a blessed and highly favored day and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.